Good morning, you guys, and welcome back. I had to think what channel this was. <laughs> welcome back to another More with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video from the moment I woke up, which it is actually 10 o'clock. I woke up two hours ago, but I have not been hungry yet until now. It depends. Sometimes I'll wake up and I'm really hungry and I'll need to eat something right away. And then sometimes I'll just go right into having a cup of coffee and I'll just wait till my body tells me it's time to eat. So I already made myself some coffee. I'll go ahead and show you guys because I'm gonna show you everything that I am having today and including my coffee pods. So I have the Nespresso coffee maker. I'll leave it down below. Who's that behind me? Hi Scarlett. Say hi to everybody. No, okay. Um, <laughs> we're a little bit of a mood this morning. The kids are on their spring break right now. And it's, uh, it's, it's going, it's going. Like I was saying, I have the Nespresso coffee maker. I'll link it down below. These are our favorite pods, the Stormio pods. So I already made myself a cup of that. Think of espresso, but in coffee form. That's the best way I can explain my Nespresso coffee maker. And then I love the Califia. I know I've been pronouncing it the wrong way. I never know how to pronounce it. This is the almond milk creamer, just the unsweetened. I know they have a couple other flavors, but it's dairy-free, zero grams of sugar. First, I wanna preface this and say, I try, try is the key word, because I genuinely do try to eliminate as much sugar as I can. I'm not perfect, you guys. Everything in moderation. I have my treat meals and my treat days. This is generally speaking like 90% of the time. High protein, veggies, and good carbs. That's kind of how my diet is. There's not like an exact name for it. It's my own diet. It's my own personalized diet. So I do try to get like at least 100 grams of protein a day. We'll see by the end of the day if I've made that or not. Who's that behind me? Oh, it's Noli Bear. Do you want to say hi, everybody? Hi. So I have actually discovered a new favorite brand that I wanted to introduce to you guys. It is called Catalina Crunch, and I might have went a little bit crazy getting some of the cereals because I first tried the cinnamon toast cereal, which was like so nostalgic for me. I loved it. It has zero grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein, and nine grams of fiber. That's why I have fallen in love with their brand because not only does it have better ingredients in it, I can read every single ingredient. They're vegan and plant-based as well, even though you guys know, I am not plant-based, I am not vegan, I am not keto, it is keto-friendly. I still like to enjoy these foods because they are healthier for you. So maybe just first say a huge thank you to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. They had sent me some products to try and I went back and I got some more at the store because I love them so much. Um, I actually haven't tried their fruity cereal yet, so I am gonna have that this morning with a banana, but I was reading their story on the back and it says that their snacks were founded by a diabetic who believes you can enjoy great tasting cereals and snacks made with protein, fiber, and good fats while minimizing sugar. So I absolutely love that. And like I was telling you guys, 11 grams of protein. I told you guys I'm trying to get as much protein in as I can. I actually got some of their snack mixes as well. And hold on one second. By the way, are we loving this morning look, you guys? We loving it, we loving it. This is me in my natural state right now. Like I was saying, I fell in love with their product so much. I had to try their sandwich cookies. <laughs> and hence why this box is completely empty because it was so good and I ate all of them. Not in one sitting, I don't wanna say that, one sitting. But before I could film this what I eat in a day, I already ate these. I still have these vanilla ones to eat, but yes, you guys, the chocolate vanilla, I will definitely be repurchasing because those are so good. Anyways, all right, let's get on to what I'm having for breakfast. Like I said, I'm gonna try their fruity cereal. I haven't tried this one yet. I did like the cinnamon toast one and I also liked the maple waffle one. So I'm really excited to try flavor. Let me grab a bowl, get my banana all cut up. I'm not a huge milk person. So if I do use any kinds of milk, like in protein shakes or cereals, anything like that, this is my go-to. I love the Blue Diamond Almond Breeze, almond milk, unsweetened, original. There's no added sugars and it's 30 calories per serving. So this is always my go-to. If 
you guys want to go ahead and get some Catalina Crunch for yourself and try out their products, you can actually go to their website and they gave me a code to give you guys so you guys can save a little extra money. That code is Brittany M. I'll leave all those details down below and thank you again so much to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. I am about to get a arm workout in. It is almost two o'clock. I have had no lunch yet. I actually just made myself some pre-workout. It's the Alani new brand, the same one as my greens, but it's the peach flavor. And I'm gonna make myself a pre-workout lunch snack. I'm not like a huge eat a whole bunch for breakfast, eat a whole bunch for lunch, and then eat a whole bunch for dinner. I kind of have like five to six small meals throughout the day. So I'll have this wrap that I'm about to make and then I'll probably have a protein shake right after. Actually, I know I will have a protein shake right after my workout. And then I might have like a snack before dinner, dinner, and then a after dinner snack, but we'll get there. But first, let me show you guys everything that you'll need to make this wrap. So I'm using one extreme wellness, high fiber, carb, lean, tortilla wrap. I know some people say try not to focus on the nutrition facts, but I feel like this is very important, especially if you are wanting to eat healthy. You're going to have to look at the nutrition facts, but for one tortilla, it is 50 calories, total fat, 1.5 grams, and there's five grams of protein in one wrap. I'm using one laughing cow light wedge. This is going to go all over the wrap. Instead of using cheese, you can just use this or mayonnaise. You can use this however you want to. I feel like with this, I don't need mayonnaise or cheese, so I just use one of those. I have some oven roasted turkey breast, some mustard, and some spinach that I'm going to add into it to get a little veggie in there. So yeah, that's gonna basically be my pre-workout lunch slash snack. I also forgot to mention that I tried to drink a lot of water throughout the day. I have a huge hydro jug. You can see I am not doing so well with the water intake today so far. It has been a busy day, especially with the kids at home on spring break, but I like to at least drink half of that, if not all of it. I used to be able to drink all of that. I just gotta get back into the routine again, but I do have my greens that I drink water with too, and also my happy juice. So I do get quite a bit of water throughout the day. I don't know if this water counts in my pre-workout or not, but anyways, let's jump right into making my wrap now. done working out and then I helped Frank unload for probably like 40 45 bags of mulch which is why I'm like all dirty and sweaty and my face is so red so now I'm going to have one of my favorite protein shakes it's actually a new discovery I was loving well I still love the own ones um, the plant-based ones and the fair life ones I still really like these but I think this flavor this one is my favorite. The chocolate and the Fairlife, by the way, taste exactly like Ovaltine. If you guys have ever had chocolate Ovaltine, kind of like chocolate milk, but that one, the one by Shamrock Farms, their rocking protein builder has 30 grams of protein. And let's see it, it's lactose free and it has eight, eight grams of sugar, which is, nah, it's okay. But if you guys have ever had Nesquik strawberry milk, it tastes Exactly. I'm telling you guys, exactly like it, and it's been one of my favorite ones. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon of my creatine to this. This is for muscle building support, and it says one teaspoon. I guess it depends on the type of creatine you have because they all have their different requirements. But I added one teaspoon to my milk. I'm gonna shake it up and drink it. Here is 
is what's for dinner tonight. We are doing hamburger and hot dogs. I have my hamburger on a lettuce wrap. Here's the top right here that I'm gonna put on it in a second. I'll show you guys how I wrap it. But we have the burger with cheese, tomato, onion, mustard, and ketchup. And then I sauteed up some zucchini and yellow squash. I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, olive oil, and garlic, and then I'm having two pickle spears. If you guys have not tried Grillo's pickles yet, you need to try them hands down. One of the best pickles I've ever, ever had. They don't have the little chips anymore, which were my favorite because I would add it onto my hamburger, but their spears are just as good. So if you guys see them at your grocery store, get them. They are amazing. So that is what I am gonna have for dinner. Usually what I do is I'll just add a piece on top like that, and then just kinda wrap it around like so. It's not gonna be the, the prettiest, but I mean, it's still really, really good. So I actually have to thank my friend Christine because she got me or introduced this idea to me We were actually talking on the phone and she said oh my gosh this Like basically like apple nachos is so good and I was like "Ooh, I gotta try that and then she brings me a plate like five minutes later and This is what it was and it is absolutely amazing for being healthy ish. It's still not the healthiest, but it's 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 up there. Okay, but we have some Honeycrisp apples some cinnamon and some walnuts. And I guess like the unhealthy-ish part would be the Ghirardelli caramel sauce. I actually could not find this in the store. It was in like in the Sunday section. So check your grocery store because for the longest time I couldn't find it. Come to find out they've always had it and I just didn't know the whole time. So I just drizzled some of that. And then she told me to use this whipped cream. It has real cream, real vanilla, and real sugar. And I was looking on the back, it says one gram of fats and one gram of sugar. So I'm basically just going to dip the apple into the whipped cream, but oh my gosh, you guys, it is amazing. Let me know if you try it in the comments down below. And actually you guys, I did really good on my water today. I remember when I was like all the way up to here, I still have a little bit left, but I almost drank this whole jug. Also, I just counted up all my protein for today and I am at 97 grams of protein. So almost met my 100 goal. It's still pretty challenging most days, but I'm really proud that I almost got it. Almost. So close.